Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to today's live premiere. We'll be covering some of the highlight features in the latest release of Deck Network, including multiple products in campaign sites, improvements to the batch store feature, wholesale price levels for enterprise customers, and various other improvements across the system. So stay tuned. One of the biggest enhancements in this latest release of Deco Network is the ability to set a product or decoration process to use alternate pricing for a specific store or a specific customer. This functionality is available with a new feature called Contract Price Levels. We can get started with price levels by clicking the link within the Admin Products section. From here, we can define new price levels in addition to the one included by default. I'll go ahead and set up one for my wholesale customers, as well as one for my affiliate stores. Once you've defined your price levels, you now have the ability to set alternate pricing in various parts of the system. For example, your supplier product markup. With this feature, you'll see a new section at the top of pricing pages that allows you to switch between the different defined price levels and make pricing adjustments for each. For example, I can lower the markup for my wholesale customers down to 25% and for my affiliates down to 40%. This same level of flexibility extends to your product groups as well as to individual products. Let's configure an individual product to check out an example. We'll jump into the pricing screen and you'll see those familiar options here at the top. Again, allowing you to switch between each price level and change the price accordingly. As mentioned earlier, this also extends to your decoration processes. We can click into the decoration pricing screen and find those familiar options here as well. Once the price levels have been defined and the pricing set, you can jump into your website section, manage a specific store, and assign it to use a specific price level from the administration section. In this case, I'll have my site use the affiliate pricing. In addition to assigning a specific store to use a price level, you can also assign a customer to a price level as well. View that record in the Business Hub, and under Edit Account Details, you'll find the familiar drop-down there as well. Based on the configured price level information, the system will determine which price level should be used when creating an order or when your customers are checking out through the website. You'll find a new contract price level option at the top of your order screen. Overall, this new feature adds a tremendous amount of flexibility to pricing. It'll be extremely useful for users working with contract decoration and wholesale customers, as well as users that manage many affiliate stores, some of which require special pricing. We hope you can take full advantage of this new feature and many others included in the latest release of Deco Network. This latest release of Deco Network enhances the campaign feature to now allow adding multiple products when creating the campaign. Starting a campaign works just as it did before. You'll start by selecting an item to get started with. Next, you can go ahead and add the desired decorations onto the product and size and place them just where you want them. Clicking Next to proceed to the next step. 
Here on step three, in addition to setting the sales price of your products and the sales goal for your campaign site, you now have the ability to add another product, which will allow you to repeat steps one and two to add additional items. You can go ahead and select the item you want to choose, and just as before, add the desired decorations onto it. Sizing and placing them just where you want them, and proceeding to the next step. Once you're done adding items to your campaign, you can go ahead and proceed to the next steps to launch the site. Jumping over to the campaign management screen, you'll see a breakdown of how many of each product you've sold and how it contributes to your overall sales goal. Finally, on the front end campaign site itself, your customers will see the option to switch between available products right above the product description. Clicking the next item over will take them directly there where they can select the desired color sizes and add the item to the cart. We hope this functionality will open up additional opportunities for you and your store owners. In the last release of Deco Network, we greatly enhanced the batch production feature, making it work in conjunction with Team Store enhancements in the same release. In this latest update of Deco Network, we've added improvements based on your feedback to make it easier to process orders that come through a batch site. The detail screen for a batch site now brace down orders based on the status, whether they're still open or have already been processed and are closed. You can quickly expand all orders to see the items contained within. And we've added the familiar bulk select option from other Business Hub screens. In addition to those improvements, there's a new batch production worksheet available which consolidates quantities for decorative products across multiple orders. You're able to download or print a batch production worksheet for all of your currently open orders, your closed out and processed orders, selected orders only, or all of the orders for a batch site. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. The layout for this production worksheet is similar to what you're already familiar with, except the quantities for each item are consolidated across all of the orders for your site. These improvements should make it even easier for you to use Team Stores and process the orders for your batch production sites. One of the improvements in this release of Deco Network is an enhanced integration with the BTC Activewear catalog. This update adds the ability to directly send your purchase orders to BTC using the live ordering feature. Live ordering can be configured and enabled by clicking the supplier account details under the product section of your admin area. From here, we can press edit next to our desired supplier we'll find the live ordering options by scrolling to the bottom of the page. You'll first need to enable the Use Live Ordering option here at the top of this section. Next, you'll need to fill out the information in the required fields. The setup process is slightly different for each supplier. In the case of BTC Activewear, you'll need to reach out to the IT support email listed here at the top of the section. Once you've enabled and configured the live ordering feature, you'll see enhanced functionality when working with BTC Activewear purchase orders in your business hub. Editing or creating a purchase order 
will give you live stock updates and live pricing. Changing a quantity will show you live price updates on the fly. When you're ready to order, you can save your purchase order and choose the send purchase order option. You'll see LiveSend is now available, allowing you to send the purchase order information directly from Deco Network to BTC Activewear. We hope this enhancement streamlines your purchase ordering workflow. In this latest update, we've enhanced the product group feature by adding a bulk action that allows you to quickly assign multiple products to a specific product group. As a quick overview, product groups allow you to set configuration for things like decoration processes, which ones should be allowed and what the price should be set to, your blank product markups, minimum quantities, production statuses, and product availability. Jumping back onto our product screen, with the new feature, you can now, for example, select an entire category of blank products, select all the items on the first page by clicking the checkbox at the top of the list, then choose the Select All Products link at the top of the page. Lastly, click into the Bulk Action dropdown and select the new Assign Product Group action. Once you hit Apply Action, you'll see the drop-down to select and assign a new product group to the selected products. These enhancements should make it easier for you to manage your blank products and allow you to more quickly make adjustments to their configuration. This latest release of Deco Network includes a couple of enhancements related to image quality. We've made working with SVG format logo images even simpler. Previously, the system generated a resized raster image version of your SVG logos. We now disable the resize image to fit option when your logo is SVG format to ensure it gets embedded as a crisp vector graphic every time. This means you'll need to make sure your SVG logos are sized to the desired display size prior to upload. This also means you'll need to make sure to upload a separate mobile logo image as the system will no longer generate a resized version. Once again, you can click in to open up the select image pop-up and choose the small resized version that you've uploaded. In addition to these SVG logo improvements, We've added a new setting under Page Options that allows you to set the level of compression applied to your product listing images, allowing you to choose a balance between quality and page loading speed. Just as we've done here, we'll continue to release additional improvements related to image quality in future updates. Previous updates to Deco Network added functionality allowing you to schedule your orders for production using a calendar view. In this update, we've enhanced the production list views, adding columns allowing you to sort and filter by date produced. In addition to this change in Business Hub, we've also added these columns to the Export Orders Report accessible from the Admin Reports section. From the Admin area, 
click into the report section on the left and choose export orders. You can enable the new columns available by clicking the settings button on the top right of the screen. The new columns are available for both the summary and the line item version of the export orders report. You can click to select the columns for each type of report and check the box next to the new columns to enable them. These enhancements will be useful when running reports and checking on your team's progress. In this release of Deco Network, we've included an improvement to the Add Design pop-up based on your feedback. We understand that streamlining the process for your customer to provide you their artwork is critical to the purchasing process. Previously, the Upload Image button was only visible when the end user was browsing the My Upload section. The Upload Image button is now always visible within the pop-up, placed at the top of the Categories section. Clicking the Upload Image button will directly open up the system's file picker. From here, the end user can select a file from their computer and click Open to start the upload process. This improvement carries over to the mobile layout as well. You'll find the new Upload Image button always displayed at the top of the Upload Image panel, regardless of which category is selected. As a brief reminder, your customers can manage their previously uploaded designs from the design section of their customer account area. Thanks everyone for joining today's session covering some of these latest improvements. All of these features and more are available in the latest release of Deco Network. You can upgrade to this latest release now from your admin dashboard. And make sure to check out our help center for in-depth help guides and documentation. If you're not yet a Deco Network subscriber, make sure to head over to our website and book a tour with our team to get started. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.